Hello and welcome back and I'm carrying on with my look at the TP-Link Deco system. It's their mesh affordable Wi-Fi system for you guys out there that have been trying to get mesh in your home or office. Chances are that you've been looking at the Deco M5 from TP-Link. This is my second part of a three part series of videos about this device. We've already done the hardware review. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set it up for the first time as well as add additional nodes because this £180 mesh system has three nodes but lastly in the third part coming after this we're going to do the software review of the tp links mesh system so without further ado as you can see on the screen there's my mobile phone there because this is a mobile phone only installation what that means in real terms is you can only set this up using the mobile app available for android and ios it's called the deco app it's there in the middle of the screen just above my cat's head oh little scratches um and uh, the, the Deco application is how you set this device up for the first time. I did express my concerns in a previous video about the only uh, the ability to only access and set this up via a mobile app, but I'll save all that for the software video. So for now, what we need to do is open up the Deco app for the first time. Now, it is worth highlighting that the system does require that you've powered the devices up in advance, that you've connected the power, the mains power, to the rear of at least one of the Deco devices, and that the device is connected to your internet. But that can work for later on. For now, what we're doing is we're going to discover the device via Bluetooth. So make sure you've got the Bluetooth enabled on your mobile phone, as well as the ability to um, find the device on your local network there. There should be a blue pulsing light on the top of your TP-Link device. So, apparently we have to sign up for the first time, so we're gonna go ahead with that. I'm gonna fast forward past that, and then let you guys get straight into, you know the email address I'm gonna use. And we're gonna go for the standard protocol. Very, very boring. For those that know this is a burner account, so you're more than welcome to hack it, but there isn't a vast amount of point. Right, so we've registered an account, and I will factor that into my software review, by the way. Um, but what we're going to do now is we're going to make our way into sorting out our mesh network. So we're going to start adding our first node. Let's carry on. We're going to identify the node that we've got. And we're utilizing the M5 Plus. That's an AC1300 deco system. And as before, it is recommended that we make sure we've got the device unpacked and connected with an Ethernet cable, the power, and of course, the deco itself. We are going to need to power the device up, as we've already done. And it's letting us know that well, our modem, that is the device that you've been supplied by your internet service provider, is up and running and connected to the Deco. Next, we're showing here that we've got mains power and LAN connectivity, that's the Ethernet, plugged from our uh, internet service provider router and into the Deco. Now, of course, if you do have a modem or a modem point, you won't need another router, but most of you, due to the lack of LAN connections on this device, are almost certainly still going to use your Wi-Fi on your internet service provider router or previously existing router. Although it's worth mentioning, you should really turn off the Wi-Fi on that device to get the most out of this. And we'll see there for a second, it's just letting us know that it's been connected and it has internet connectivity. And that's what your modem, so not the TP-Link device, needs to show. It's just letting us know that the internet connectivity is stable. Next, we have to double check that that blue symbol is pulsing which is what we need to make sure so we can connect via Bluetooth to this device. And now my phone is going to search the local area network via Bluetooth, I might add, to find the TP-Link device. Right now my phone is resting on top of the Deco and there are two other Decos in my local environment. So we're gonna go ahead and it looks like it's found it. There's some lovely animations. Now it's asking us to class what this Deco is. We're gonna go straight for the office. We're gonna call this one. And we're going to set these uh, devices up for our software review later. Next, it's asking us about our internet connectivity. And it is a dynamic IP that's running from a Synology router that I've got set up here. So we're going to go ahead and maintain the dynamic IP rather than a static IP in this case. And again, we have to give it a name now. So we're just going to call this DecoNet. And we're going to give it the incredibly imaginative password, password. And now it's communicating with the Deco device in front of me. I can see that the blue light has now gone solid rather than the flashing light it was before. 
And now it's going to start creating a network connection between my phone and the TP-Link adapter. Um, now it's going to ask to connect to the Wi-Fi network. So now the TP-Link light has now turned green, which means that it has found internet connectivity. And now this mesh point will no longer communicate with my phone via Bluetooth, but will do so as a standalone Wi-Fi connection. Then we can start moving forward to adding more TP-Link decos to our mesh environment. And now we're connected to the deco. It's going to do a background check of internet connectivity. And there we go. We've set up a connection via Wi-Fi to our deco device, deco net. As you can see there at the top left, we are now connected to that new Wi-Fi connection going forward. So how about we connect another deco device and therefore start establishing our mesh system? Well, let's move over to the next deco. We're going to click add another deco. And once again, we're going to suggest it is an M5. We then have to identify a spot. We're going to say that it's on the same floor that we're on right now. And once again, I've already done the checks. The device is up and running and Bluetooth has been enabled. So now it's going to search it and it's found the two decos that I've set up in this room as mesh points. So now we have to designate these two devices identities. So let's say one of them's the bedroom and we'll make the other one the kitchen. Click next. And it really is that straightforward. I mean, one of the things I will maintain immediately off the bat, and I will feature this in my software review, it is for a, such an affordable item. First time setup was painfully easy there. For something, you know, you're spending 180 for a three node system where Google Wi Fi is 330 and Synology's mesh system is 360 or 390 in some cases if you include the VAT and just go for the mesh routers. So for such an affordable device, that really was a painless setup. I'm going to wrap things up now and I'm going to start moving forward into the next part of my video series where I'm going to review the software that you get to configure, utilize and make the most of your mesh system. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you on the next video.